Don't miss Clownfish Studios' latest crowdfunder, Crimson Wren Volume 1 on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Thaddeus Wendell's greatest treasure is out there, and it's up to young mage Crimson Wren and the crew of a rundown airship called the True North to find it. But will they find it in time? Crimson Wren of the True North is a race against the clock filled with action, adventure, comedy, and heart. This is a brand new manga-style graphic novel from Clownfish Studios. Go to crimsonwren.com or check it out on Indiegogo and Kickstarter. It ends on November 18th. That's November 18th. And now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, AI no. art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Geeky Sparkles. Well, there I'm she is AI right art. here. This is a face reveal. That's there what she go. actually looks no, like. I don't um, like that. I shave. <laughs> so we're going to talk about AI art making all kinds of uh, waves over the last year or two, especially. Uh, a lot of people concerned about the future of art and making a living in art when uh, passable, somewhat passable art can be generated so easily via AI program. Mm -hmm. And how most of this art is generated is it basically scans a bunch of images on the internet and then it just kind of fabricates something that's a mishmash of a whole bunch of different People, different, different art. I'm just gonna tell you right now, you hear, might hear snoring in the background. That's me. No, it's poor Sir Charles Toasty Butternut's Pendragon, the third Esquire, because he had surgery and he doesn't want to leave mama and I'm not making him leave, but that, he snores. That's our dog. Yes. For, the, for those of you who don't know, like who the hell is Sir Charles Toasty Butternut? <laughs> He he is he's now he's snoring because he doesn't want to leave my side and I don't have the heart to kick him out because he's in puppy pain. So he if is. you don't like it, then don't watch the video. You don't have a soul if you can't can't sympathize with a dog well, in pain. Well, he's a ginger dog, so he probably took their soul. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. It, it's a Saturday night. There's not really a whole lot going on, but uh, yeah, the AI art uh, debacle has been uh, uh, kind of breaking out on the internet for a couple months now. We've yeah. done videos about before that uh, people are afraid that they're gonna be replaced. And I'm gonna- That's understandable. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I mean, it's very crude right now, but I've seen some pretty amazing stuff. And I have to think that in 20 years, 30 years, it, it's gonna be at a place where it's like, yeah, you just you know punch in what you want and you get art. I want a just, comic book. Yeah. Marvel and DC don't need to hire artists anymore. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, they're to scan all your work for hire that you they own and then it can just copy you and you don't have to be there. Yeah. So we're going to talk about this because uh, DeviantArt, DeviantArt users not happy about it. They announced that um, they have a new AI art generator called uh, DreamUp and uh, they had to alter AI rights management due to user complaints because people were basically like, hell no, you're not using my mm -hmm. hand-drawn art or my own digital art that I made to generate a bunch of AI crap. You know, we're not gonna well, have it. What I was hearing was that, that you couldn't even just opt out. Like they were saying, oh, you just click the thing to opt out. But some people said, and I don't know, I didn't verify. I don't have a DVNR. You do. But some people I've said that years. you had to fill out a form <laughs> and everything else. And I'm like, it was kind of difficult. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I'm just saying what I saw people talking about. All right, so let's let's talk about this because this is uh, absolutely going to happen. I, I mean, the future is is barreling at us. Uh, it's just, it's unavoidable. I but mean, before we get into any further, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 280, almost 281. I haven't done any rants. Woohoo! I haven't done any for a while. I need to do one. You I need, need to get, get angry. I, I did one other day when you were away, but I really need to get pissed and do something. You need else. to get some more feist. Get your face going. I will take my anxiety meds for a couple days. We'll see what happens. All right. So, um, yeah, you know, this was announced. I'm like, oh, that's of course, of course, of course, that's that's going to happen. Everybody's talking about digital art, uh, AI generated art. I mean, this is like NFTs. It like it just literally like came out of nowhere. Nobody, Nobody was talking about, about NFTs this. that much anymore either. Did no, you that? now it's all digital art, AI right. art. And nobody was really talking about it. And then it just kind of blew up for a couple months. Everybody got pissed about it. And then it kind of died down a little bit. Yeah. Um, so this is kind but of, it's back. It's back. It's back, back with a vengeance. It is. And this conversation is not going to end anytime soon because, you know, we did a video where a guy won an art contest with AI art. Now, he did yeah. disclaim that it was AI generated art, but people were like, it doesn't count because, I mean, you know. 
I guess where I'm torn because I'm an art teacher and I guess where I'm torn is, you know, there's always been movements in art that opened up new doors. Whenever there's new technology, it's been incorporated into art. We had web comics because it was done digitally and different things, you know, as, as it goes. So, I mean, this is another, I guess it's another step in evolution of, of what's available to artists. What I'm concerned about is what, what, where does the line end where the artist is actually the one creating the art or it's just a computer program that's just, you know, you're typing some things and you aren't doing anything creative whatsoever. I think it's, yeah, I think that's a little bit different than, you know, doing art digitally working on a tablet because you're still drawing it. You're just not using paper. It saves a couple of steps with pen and ink. Of course, you know, you're drawing on the paper and then you scan it in and it's going into the computer anyway in a lot of cases. So you're just kind of, you know, saving steps. In this case, we're creating art whole cloth based on keywords. Plus it devalues. It yeah. devalues art. I mean, artists you know spend years practicing, and and these and that's what this stuff is using. It's using art that other people spent you know centuries perfecting and practicing. It just takes these parameters and populates a piece of art. Boom, you know, yeah. and it's just, it devalues art and artists. And pretty soon, you know, they're already devalued enough. Yeah. So I mean, I think that's what everybody's concerned about. In this case, though, what what's going on is with uh, Deviant Art. You put your stuff on Deviant Art, and a lot of people have had an account for like. 10, 15 years. You've had it for, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't Since even. Since it's like started almost. I, I don't even check. My, I haven't been on there in years. Um, but, you know, they're leaving their art out there. And now this dream up is apparently going to use everybody's artwork or was going to use everybody's artwork to train the AI to, you know, basically swipe your shit is what it's mm -hmm. going to do. So, uh, again, Ars Technica. Swiped your shit. Swiped your, fixed your <laughs> shit. Made it look better. On Friday, the online art community DeviantArt announced DreamUp, an AI-powered text-to-image generator service provided by Stable Diffusion. Simultaneously, DeviantArt launched an initiative that ostensibly lets artists opt out of AI image training, but also made everyone's art opt-in by default. Right, which is what people are mad about because then it wasn't as easy as a button push to... Very, how very Facebook of them. <laughs> you know, how very, very Facebook of them. DreamUp creates a novel... AI generated art based on text prompts due to its stable diffusion roots. DreamUp learned how to generate images by analyzing hundreds of millions of images scraped off of sites like DeviantArt and collected into data sets without artist permission, a potential irony that some DeviantArt members find problematic. Um, yeah, so this is this is the deal, right? It, again, you know, they're trained because they go search images and you can kind of see like you type in prompts. I've, I played around with some of the, like the low end ones they have online, you know, and you can see like, Oh, this looks like a headshot of this celebrity eating a cucumber or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just basically like <laughs> very a, interesting, but basically it goes out to like Google image search and all that stuff. And it just kind of makes a composite image based on the stuff you've put in. Sometimes you get some really interesting, uh, interesting results. I bet. You know. <laughs> I bet. Uh, so yeah, so Stable Diffusion's web scraping nature ignited a huge debate earlier this year among artists that challenged the ethics of AI-generated artwork. Some art communities have taken hard stances against any AI-generated images, banning them completely. Anticipating the backlash, DeviantArt is making overtures to pacify artists who might be upset about their work being used to train AI image generators. The site is providing a special flag that artists can check in their image. Uh, image settings to opt out third-party image data sets. So they say. So they say. But How are you going to know if they did? So this is this is really interesting. I've, I've been talking about this a lot in the last couple of days, and I, I might do a follow-up video on it in regards to Webtoon, is that everybody has used these websites for free to you know, uh, post their art and try to gain a following and all of that. And, and now it feels like it's almost time to pay the piper. Mm -hmm. There's nothing's ever free. Nothing's ever free. The only way you're ever really going to, you know, make sure that you own all your stuff and other people can't exploit your stuff. They still can exploit it. And if they you put it on your own still site. still can, yeah. But, it, but really you have more control if you have your own website. Now, I don't know if they have, I'd have to look and see if there are ways that you can prevent these, these uh, art, scraping robots that sounds horrible from actually you know getting onto your site like if you have a web comic and mm -hmm. you might have you know 10 years worth of images on there and then the bot goes out and scrapes all the panel layouts well you know it's a matter of time they try to train these things to do comics the difference is though robots aren't going to understand human inflection 
human like pacing and things like that like we would. Well, neither do Marvel and DC writers. I know. Well, they're basically robots, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. The good ones do. But what's going to happen, because I've seen uh, plugins and stuff for Photoshop that make, you know, flattening colors a lot easier and stuff like that. And more and more of these, uh, you know, the kind of menial comics jobs have been outsourced. They've changed. I mean, look at lettering. Lettering used to be an art in and of itself. And now we've got fonts that you basically just type and make mm -hmm. the word balloons and illustrator. And it's a totally different. It still is an art. And I'm not saying it's it's not. But like the days of busting out the Ames guide and doing it by hand are long gone. Mm -hmm. And that was the job. Probably like, what the heck are you talking about? Yeah, because I'm old. I have a names guide. <laughs> he is. I do. I have a names guide. So here we've got a heads up deviant art turned healed. And as far as I can tell, all of your existing deviations will have to be manually opted out of AI data sets. You're opted in by default. That was a shitty move. Extremely scummy move. I agree. Uh, deviant art will let artists opt out of laying their images train dream up in the future, but each artist must fill out a form. That I told you that was the, the form. Review. And then, and then the thing is in the future, like, wait, so was it already doing stuff? And then, you know, all the old stuff's already out, you know, already it's already done it. But I, yeah, so they're saying they have to fill out a form. Right. And it has right. to be human reviewed first. Uh, DeviantArt's Dream Up information page takes a defensive tone saying that DeviantArt did not consent the third party AI image models such as Stable Diffusion that scraped their site to make their models work. And further down the page, the site attempts to debunk common misconceptions. Yada, yada, yada. Hey, this is fine, everybody. Um, now, apparently, four hours ago, according to CBR, mm -hmm. DeviantArt alters the new AI rights management due to user complaints. Uh, a lot of people complaining about it. We kind of held off to see what was going to happen. And again, I'm sitting here surprised that DeviantArt is still kind of a thing. It yeah. was very, uh, very old web, right? DeviantArt alters its DreamUp tool and AI artwork generator following negative feedback and complaints from users over how the art is used. Um, Talk about how they introduced it. Uh, they released an update in response to the complaints okay. received. I love to see this. Update. We heard the community feedback. Now all deviations are automatically labeled as not authorized. That's what it should have been in the first place. The site listed out a few promises to users, including that deviations submitted to DeviantArt will not be added to third-party AI models, training sets, or dream up, uh, as well as creators being able to use a uh, checkbox that alerts it that they've opted out. Well, good luck with that, though, because the thing is, is I, I, I think if your stuff still shows up in, like, Google Image Search, chances are it's... Gonna, it's already been taken. You know, it, I mean, they can say, well, on our end, look, you signed a form. Doesn't mean that somebody else's art bot isn't going to yeah. scrape. I mean, I mean, we get our stuff scraped all the time. Uh, art, uh, I, I know our videos get scraped, our articles get scraped. We've, you know, our comics been scraped on different sites. Yeah, we, um, and this is why, you know, people were mad that we're not doing digital for the, the new stuff right away. And part of the reason we're not is it's so much easier to steal digital comics. Uh -huh. and, and they um, do. We've had it done. They've stolen your art and put it on shower curtains. We've had that happen before too. Yeah. If you post any popular character, a high res image of any popular character, uh, it's going to get lifted and there are going to be bootleg. You there's know, there's watches be, being sold, shower yeah, curtains. Darkwing Duck watches with. They said it was official art. That was a compliment. Fi official art. Well, I did I did work on Disney comics. But yeah, they Darkwing Duck tryout art. They actually took it and they threw it on watches. I had a Mickey Mouse. Actually, my uh, Star Wars Mickey Mouse mashup tryout for IDW got stolen and put on shower, shower curtains. curtains. I wish I would have bought one at this and point. They call it lightsaber mouse. And we they got, took it down. We had to fight him to take it down, but I wish I had a shower curtain before I did. I mean, this is a, a kind of an age old problem. It's, it's very hard for artists to monetize their work to begin with. In a lot of cases, especially if you're posting your stuff online. So to find out that not only can somebody steal your stuff, and throw it on a t-shirt or well, throw they've it been out. they've been but now they can use your art to possibly draw stuff that looks just like yours eventually that they can make money for and go on t-shirt that they can yeah and what are you going to do be like oh this is ai generated it just happens to look like jim lee you know but it's an ai generated piece of art you mm -hmm. know it just happens to look like your cop your comic that's very popular yeah it just happens to look like that but it's actually AI generated and mm -hmm. nothing you can do about it, even though you can see bits of your, your stuff in there somewhere is nothing you can do about right. it. Um, yeah. So they said in the first version of the opt out process, we're only going to be considering accounts that follow best practices. 
such as accounts with an up-to-date email address and DeviantArt profiles with social media accounts. So linked. anybody who's not using their account anymore, they're like, well, I'll be, it's fair game. Yeah. I'll take yours down. <laughs> so now they're now they're talking about NFTs. Um, that's a whole nother thing. And I think the NFT Learning thing- is the generate art to make NFTs. That's exactly what's going to happen. I, you know, you can kind of see it all coming together here. Now, I was like, I thought people were being kind of ridiculous about NFTs to some degree. I'm like, eh, I don't know. You know, it's they're kind of dumb. And then the bottom kind of fell out of it. I think the, the blockchain technology is going to be used for other stuff. But basically, now you're going to have people be like, yeah, I, I want to make some more apes. Okay, just to have the AI whip me up, you know, 1,200 apes. Mm -hmm. You know, do this ape, that ape. Maybe just, you know, throw in a bunch of line items like you know, different, uh, different themes or whatever. And it'll just, you know, spit out apes. Now, again, it's, it's far from perfect, but it's getting there. It's, it's going to be there. I mean, someone already did a full comic with AI art. It was weird as hell, but you could see that. Yeah. In another 10 or 20 years, you know, it might be that, you know, comic book publishers even have their, maybe their own reference images. Like, can you imagine if you had, uh, character model sheets. Well, they do. They have they have all that, and they have all the years and years and years of comic books. People, you know, that work for hire. They can just input all of that. Yeah, be like, make me the perfect Mickey Mouse comic based on decades of you know Mickey Mouse art being produced, mm -hmm. constantly being produced, and they basically it could basically formulate like this is the perfect Mickey Mouse, or make my Mickey Mouse look like you know Mickey Mouse from the 1930s, and put it in a superhero comic and do whatever. And it's going to get there. I mean, the reality is it's going to get there. There's nothing we can really do about it. You can try to stave it off as long as you can. And the problem is, too, a lot of these companies already don't value art as it is. Um, and it's just going to get harder. I mean, it's just going to be harder to be an artist. And again, I don't think it's an immediate thing. I don't think people have an immediate uh, threat to their careers at this point. But it's get Skynet for art. Pretty much. Give, give it another decade or two and see where we're at. Because the stuff that we're doing now digitally was inconceivable 30 years ago. You know, and it might be really crude now. Give them time. Give them time. It's not know. Sarah Connor yet. It's Sawa Kwanya. Like a bad clone? <laughs> yeah. It's Sawa Kwanya. It's not, it's not quite Sarah Connor yet. Oh, God. But it's going to be. It's going to be. All right. We got to wrap this up. Yep. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.